This is why I say we cannot learn Islam from Muslims because they lie. If we go in the Quran, you will find the following. <clears throat> All right. In chapter 2, verse number 124, and remember that Abraham was tried by his Lord with certain commands which he fulfilled. He said, I will make thee an imam, <laughs> imam to the nation. He bleeded and also imams from the offspring. He answered, but my promise is not within the reach of evil doers. <clears throat> mm. From the children of Abraham, there is, will be leaders of nations, and leaders here are religious leaders. But look what the Quran said. You see, Muhammad, when he speak, he always do make a huge mistakes. In chapter six, verse number eighty-four, it says, "And we gave him Isaac and Jacob." But notice with me here. That the Quran does not mention Ishmael in this verse. Did you notice that? The Muslims put between two brackets the word three because they are corrupt. You know, it's a corrupt religion. Because why you add a three if it's not there? Even in Arabic, it says, confirming that this is for two. Hadaina, both. You see the word here? This is both. So why here they put the word all three are guided? This is why I say we cannot learn Islam from Muslims because they lie. If we change the translation here, and I will tell you why they add the word three, because this is a disaster. Because the Quran here confirmed that only from the, the children of Isaac and Jacob will be profited. If we change the translator, <clears throat> hmm? We change the translator. Hold on. Uh, we take which one? All of them are the same garbage, but just to get them busted. Uh, it was Joseph Ali. I think we need to change it to something else. All right. Let us see Bictal. If Bictal will lie less or more. Look, Bictal here, he said each of them was guided. There's no three, which is still a lie. It doesn't say each of them, it says both. Let us go and see different translation. Maybe we can find one of them is being honest. Sometimes this mission is impossible. Let us see Shakir. Each was guided. Oof. Each was guided. I think they are copying from each other. Let us see Al Mawdudi. This is a new guy. Hmm. Oh. You see here they are saying each. Look like they are stuck with each. However, let's make it clear. Let us not to go like because it says they are kila, which means both. Both both not each both isaac and jacob we guided and we made from their offspring the prophethood the quran refused to name ishmael in this verse why because in this verse mentioned the names of a prophet if you look with me here is the list of our prophets on all of them they are from the nation of israel the children of abraham all the way to the children of israel not a single one of them is not a prophet for the jews muhammad in this point he was being hypocrite to the jews and he avoid to speak about ishmael because he knew that the jews don't believe and don't accept that ishmael was a prophet because of that muhammad he dropped his name Otherwise, why 
the name of Ishmael is not there. Remember, Ishmael is the elder in the family, as even Muhammad speak of. So why Muhammad he jumped the name of Ishmael in this story here? And then if we continue, we will find more, more stuff, which is weird, proving to us Muhammad to be a false prophet. Uh, <clears throat> let's go here. And here, the, the Trinity I'm going to speak about, Starting with the children of Abraham. And a Muslim tell us why Abraham, he have three kids. I mean, there is a connection with the story. Why in Islam everything is three? You see, are you just because you are copying from the Jews or it happened to be this way or it happened, there's, there's no reason for it. It just happened that there are three. We will see that. In chapter 19, verse number 49, it says, the following when he had turned away from them from those whom they worship beside Allah we bestowed on him Isaac and Jacob and each one of them we made a prophet what is Ishmael few verses after you will see that Ishmael became a prophet and also mention in the book the story of Ishmael he was truly true to what promised, and he was one of the messengers. Actually, here it doesn't say uh, what they put between the two brackets here, strictly, etc. No problem, but it's not there. So now we have three prophets. They are children of one man. His name is Abraham. For sure, this is not what Christianity agree upon, and neither the Jews. But here the question is, if Allah is God who is against the Trinity, how come he chose from one man, three prophets, three sons in the same time? We don't want to miss this uh, chapter uh, 29, verse number 27. Where Muhammad he did poo, poo because he make it clear that yes the Quran says that Ishmael is a is a prophet Isaac is a prophet Jacob is a prophet which means three prophets but the Quran confirm only from the children of Isaac and Jacob the prophethood And actually, that will be specifically Jacob. No prophethood will come from any other person, according to the Quran, only from Jacob. So Abraham was a prophet, Isaac was a prophet, Jacob was a prophet, but the children will be the children of Jacob. And they are going to be prophets then after that there's this connection in the story suddenly Jacob his name became Israel and nobody knows why and the Muslim they have no idea who is Israel unless they go and read in the old you know in the Old Testament to find out who is Jacob and how Jacob became Israel if you ask the Muslim what Jacob mean they do not know if you ask them what Isaac mean they do not know if you ask him what Abraham mean they do not know if you ask him what Israel mean they do not know because their prophet do not know for he is a false prophet Then we find that Abraham, he worshipped three stars. And by the way, uh, we missed this one.